I'm a bounty hunter. Name's Dixie. I just hauled a low-life bell jumper across Texas, and I'm ready for a romantic weekend. But my 13-year-old nephew has other ideas. Without leaving his computer, he's hot on the trail of a thief with a $30,000 price on her head. Who better to catch this filcher, he says, and split the reward, of course, than his favorite Aunt Dixie. No, 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 I tell him, not tonight. But he's dead certain that Janae Thompson's driving Interstate 45 toward Galveston, which just happens to be where I was headed tonight anyway. I don't like mixing business with my personal life. Parker Dan, however, the only man who could make my heart bump and my toes curl, would be more than delighted to help me round up a crook. For months, he's been trying to nudge me into partnering up. Galveston's a small island, not many places for a girl to hide. And Janae's a gambler, which narrows it down more. At first, it's almost fun, Parker and me, working together, checking out the bars and other places the leads take us. But bodies have been surfacing, and Janae is proving to be as slippery as a greased eel. What's more unnerving, the closer I get, the more I wonder whether I'm chasing a wily felon or a fragile, terrified victim. A victim of crimes far more monstrous than mere theft.